I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data analytics and data engineering. In this episode, we're going to return to our Microsoft Access playlist and we're going to talk about date formats, uh, which is a really kind of big topic in any database platform. Uh, and this is also true in Microsoft Access. And uh, I'm going to run through a whole bunch of different ways that you can format your dates so that they make sense to your users uh, and also uh, that look nice or, or, you know, give a sense of accuracy and all kinds of other things. Uh, but also I'm going to explain one big gotcha on an older version of Microsoft Access that if you happen to be using uh, MDB formatted databases that you really need to watch out for because uh, you can have a lot of trouble with uh, queries giving wrong results uh, if you don't uh, make these settings on your computer. So without further ado, let's get to our Microsoft Access date formatting. Okay, so I got this uh, Microsoft Access uh, database that we've used in previous episodes. It's got some date, data in there, so I created a table that just has some, some dates in it. So we'll just make a new query, and you can close off of that and just drag your table onto the uh, query, and you'll be able to... Uh, <clears throat> to use it and uh, we'll save this one as uh, we'll call it date format um, just because we're gonna show a bunch of different date formats in our query here uh, before we move on to showing some date formats in code and then on a form so in this first uh, query we've got uh, we're using the uh, table date demo and we've grabbed the two fields out of there there's an index row and a date uh, rep row <clears throat> and it's full of dates it really doesn't matter what they are because we're just doing some uh, demonstration here so what we can do is there's a couple of different ways that we can show date formats in our query and uh, the first way is to use an expression um, and uh, and an expression with a sort of named date format and uh, access will uh, recognize that uh, that date format if you just type in the name so we can put in format dollar sign if we want a string back and we can say uh, date rep and then uh, comma and then short date if we wanted a short date and uh, that'll give us a, a date format that comes from our uh, regional settings in our Windows computer and it's going to show our short date uh, on the right side. So it looks in this case it looks exactly the same as as the uh, date column to the left um, and uh, uh, but we can move on and we'll show for the next next one we'll show a long date and you can see I can remove the dollar sign in front or after the format statement and if I run that one we get a very similar result to uh, to what we saw before um, so in our expression that we're putting into our query field, you can use either uh, depending on what you'd like to see. So uh, moving on to our uh, long format, uh, we can do the same thing. We'll call it date underscore long. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just say uh, uh, our date uh, rep and, uh, oh, I've got to get the uh, uh, the other square bracket on there and then we'll put long date instead of short date and then we can uh, see the results here you'll see that it gives us the date long according to the regional settings uh, that are set on your uh, profile on your computer so it might look different in some cases you might see uh, that people choose to have the uh, the day name in there like Monday Tuesday Wednesday um, and that can also be uh, a valid uh, format coming out of your regional settings. But if we wanted to make a date uh, custom format, uh, we can also do, uh, we call it date custom, and we can go format and then date rep again like we showed uh, just now, and then we could just add in anything we want. Well, I mean, as long as you're using uh, the appropriate <laughs> characters, and you can add like DDMMYYYY, which will give you uh, date uh, dash month in in uh, numeric and then uh, a year and uh, that 
gives you a nice format uh, that's used uh, by um, many different uh, jurisdictions. And uh, we could do a similar thing. We could do a date custom if we wanted to show the the alphanumeric month. We can do that as well. Uh, so we can go ahead and uh, we'll type in our format uh, with uh, date rep once again in the square brackets. And uh, we can also, and then we'll add the uh, DD uh, dash MMM, which uh, will tr uh, trigger the alphanumeric months. And then we can uh, take a look and see what that looks like. And this is a nice date format, um, which is unambiguous, although it is in English. Um, it doesn't, uh, it, it definitely, if you are using an English uh, database, uh, then that will be an unambiguous date format that you can use. Um, and then uh, moving on from there, we can play around with our date formats a little bit. And, uh, and we'll, we'll add some times perhaps. So I'll go back into our custom uh, format there that we just did. And I'm going to, I'm gonna add the, uh, the hours and minutes, and then I'll add AM, PM after that. And that'll give us uh, our, our date format with a time attached to it. Um, because date fields typically have a date and a time in them. Um, although they might only be displayed as a date itself. However, most of the time you can you can add the uh, <clears throat> the uh, hour and minute um, to the to the time if that's been uh, included in your in your data collection. So we could remove the AM PM and put a an uppercase uh, uh, HH in there, um, and that will um, that's gonna um, give us the 24-hour uh, clock and in this case our dates don't have any uh, date uh, or don't have any time in them so maybe what I'll do is I'll go back and I'm gonna maybe add some time and I can do that uh, just by closing this here I'll save our query and then I'll just open the table and just grab our first row there and uh, our uh, first row, uh, we'll change that to have a time of 1540 uh, on it, and that's going to give us uh, some time added into our date field. So now, if we close that, we know that that first that first row has a has a time on it. So if we open our query, you'll see that it's been displayed here uh, according to our date format that we specified in the query, and uh, so that gives us a nice uh, date format. You can see that the uh, the native date format of the field, which is the second column, uh, gives it in uh, 12 hour clock with AM PM on it, and uh, so we can we can play around with that as well, and we can uh, we can demonstrate that several ways. So in our next example, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some date formatting in some code in VBA. So you can uh, use your control G to pull up your immediate window or you can create a new module on the home tab and go new module. Um, in this case, I, I created a new module, module two, and uh, I'm just gonna say, uh, create a new sub called show dates. And I've, I'm gonna put uh, debug.print and I'll put uh, uh, format this date that I have in, in uh, quotes here. Uh, and I will pass uh, the uh, our date uh, with the alphanumeric month on it to it and we'll see how that one turns out here. You can see that interprets it as uh, 1st of January 2020. Um, note that you can also pass in um, the uh, hashtag around dates which makes it literal. Um, so I'll put the upper uppercase uh, uh, time on it and you can see it put the 000 uh, the 24-hour clock and so I'll change our input to have a, a an actual date in it or a time in it I should say and that's going to give us 1420 uh, on that date. We could also choose to show that date as a 12-hour clock if we wanted to we could put uh, a, uh, HHNN and put AM PM after it and then we could run it and that'll show that we've got uh, 1st of January at uh, 2.20 p.m. 
And uh, we could take the zero out by changing the H to just one H. And that will uh, that'll give us uh, a nice display showing just the one month, or pardon me, the one hour uh, digit, as opposed to putting the zero in front of each one. So we could put, uh, we can uh, put 820 and then run that, and that'll give us 820 AM. And uh, so what if we wanted to retrieve a value from the database itself? Uh, we could certainly do that. Um, and that would be the same as getting a field value that has a date in it. And so in this case, what we're going to do is we'll do a DLOOKUP and we're going to look up the uh, date rep field in our table that we, we created called date uh, demo. And if we don't specify anything uh, as a where query or a where clause in there, that's going to just return the first value in the table. And so if I uh, hit go on that one, and you can see that it gave us our the time that we wanted from that table, the very first row. So we could do the same as what we just did uh, for our, uh, <clears throat> you know, our string date, and we can put a format around this, which is an actual date uh, return date uh, data type, and we can put our alphanumeric uh, date around it if we wanted to, and we can say. <clears throat> We can uh, hit go on that, and that's going to give us exactly what we wanted uh, for the alphanumeric date. Uh, and if we wanted to add the hour and minute, we can do that as well, just like we did before. And uh, that is going to um, be the best way that we can we can do date formats in the VBA code. So in our last example, we're going to show that we can format a date in a uh, access form and so we'll just grab a form let's grab a form design there and then we'll we can go to our properties and we'll choose our properties and we'll grab the data field and then we'll choose our date our date table as our record source for the form and that's gonna um, give us our our date demo uh, table and then we can grab some fields from there we could grab an empty uh, field or an unbound field, but we'll grab one from existing fields instead, and that's going to give us a date, uh, a something uh, text box that's already sort of set up to work with dates. And as you can see, it's got a value in there. That's the first row. In this case, it has 34,000 rows, and you could scroll through all those dates if you wanted to, uh, but uh, we don't really need to do that today. So what I'm going to do is I'll extend that a little bit just so that I can see see the date a little bit more clearly and uh, and then we can look at start looking at formatting so the nice thing about forms is you can see all these dates along the side here when you when you look at the format tab and the format field you can choose some of those ones that we saw earlier in our query example and they're very easy to apply you just choose it and then and then your date will show up in that format which is really nice you can choose long format or short format and uh, you can choose different kinds of times and and all kinds of stuff like that and if you want to do your custom formats you can do the same as we did before uh, using our alphanumeric month as an example here 04 august 2020 uh, you can pop your formats in there however you like and uh, and those will work just the same way as they did for our expressions before and uh, that is how you do date formatting in Microsoft Access. I hope you enjoyed today's discussion about Microsoft Access date formatting. And uh, if you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And make sure to click the bell when you see the, see the bell so that you'll be notified of any new content that I put up on the channel. If you have any questions or comments about what, what you saw today, make sure that you put your comments in the comment section below and, and I'll make sure to uh, answer any questions that you might have about uh, date formats in Microsoft Access. And uh, have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.